Uh, welcome to our new uh, Fairfield Inn & Suites at the Inner Harbor in Baltimore. It's the first uh, new build Green LEED certified hotel in the Marriott system in the United States. All of our new buildings will be LEED certified buildings. It's a comprehensive plan. It's not just about energy conservation. It's about uh, the environment and healthier living and, and uh, we're just committed to the concept. Yeah, we started looking for a site in 2005 in Baltimore in the, in the downtown area and in about uh, the, the fall or November, December 2006 uh, we located this site and in, in one of the city's committee meetings um, they asked us if we considered doing a green roof and at that point in time I had heard of a green roof but had no idea what it was and uh, nobody on my team knew much about it or what it was going to cost and, uh, we reached agreement with them that we would put it on the one-story part of our building so that if we did have any problems with it, it wouldn't be as impactful as if we put it on the fifth floor of our building. And once I committed to do that, that was really the inspiration to look further into what we could do to make the, the whole building and the whole development as, as sustainable and green as it possibly could be. You know, once you get involved in, in trying to, to uh, move in a sustainable direction, um, once we made the decision here at the hotel, every decision after that in finishing the plans and building the building was, was uh, vetted under that consideration. Yeah. So Marriott is very much committed uh, to the whole movement. We were there, uh, the first hotel, first new construction hotel to open. They now have about 30 in the pipeline uh, that are moving through design and construction. Uh, toward LEED certification. Uh, but one of the interesting stories is that we, the only thing we did not have by right was a waiver for uh, stormwater quality control. It's a grain silo uh, that was uh, operational and part of the Baltimore Brewing Company. It was at the entrance to the, to the Baltimore Brewing Company when it was open for business, and it actually stored the grain they used for brewing the beer. Uh, we wanted to use it and not waste it, reclaim it, put it back to use. And so we piped water from the roof on the fifth story of the building and store it inside the, uh, actually the, the, the brewing tank uh, and, then, and then have a pump and we use the irrigation by our whole courtyard area and our whole front entrance area. We've done some, some calculations just on this one property with 154 rooms. We feel like we have the opportunity to, to touch and impact and educate over 60,000 people a year and so if we can just help change the lifestyle of a few people, it can make a big difference.